Hey, what's up everyone? Chip here. And uh, today let's talk a little bit about the new kit ops that's being released. We're calling it the Lando version and it's got a few nifty upgrades. One of the things I want to remind you about kit ops is that when you insert a material, kit ops always checks to see if there's an existing material with the same name in the scene. And if it sees one, then it will use the existing material in the scene. So let me explain what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and we're going to go in and I'm going to find a material that's got some a texture map with it, for instance. So uh, let's just grab something like this hardwood. I'm going I'm to add it to here. So I'll add the material to this point and you can see we now have hardwood. This is one of the Eevee materials and it looks pretty good. Let's just pull this up just a little bit and we're just going to go in and look at our image editor and we're going to see that we have this hardwood material right here. Here's our hardwood material and this is where it's being used, right? Now, if I go and I select this cube and I add the material to that cube, then it's using the exact same material. And you can see that we only have one image there. If I go over here to our shader editor and I zoom up on it and let's just do something like, you know, remove the base color for it. You'll see it removes it for everything. So the point being that this one material controls both objects. Now this is pretty powerful. And it also means that if you're creating inserts, be sure and create unique names for your materials so that you don't accidentally overwrite somebody else's. So for instance, if you had a material named Chrome and you were adding an insert, especially a commercial insert onto someone's scene and if someone was using your product to add a commercial uh, material onto their scene and it was named chrome also then it would not use that now this is very valuable in the sense that what it does is it minimizes the number of materials that you have in your scene so for instance uh, in the new uh, 3.0 asset manager every time you add a new material you're adding all new bitmaps and it's a brand new material. So every time it doesn't really check to see if that material already exists. Whereas in KitOps, we do that for you. We automatically check. And if you want to add another version of this material into something else, let's go ahead and let's just, let's just go and add this material onto here. And then let's go back to this material and we're going to add a different version. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to change this one so that it has, you know, a base color of, let's give it, red, something like this. And then I want to add this material here. Now, if I add the material, watch what happens. It's going to remember it's the same material, but that's not what I want. I want to add this material. So if I hover over here, if I hit the control key and I click add, then it will add a new instance of that material. So that's something to be aware of. Okay, now let's talk about some of the other features in this new Lando edition. I'm going to delete that object. And let's just turn off these. I'm going to go ahead and in my design magic, and this will happen with any insert, but I'm going to use design magic to do this. If I grab an object like, uh, let's say this cube torpedo, and I just add it with nothing selected, okay? Now, all of a sudden, this object is no longer kit ops, right? So I can actually, you know, if I hit this G, you'll see I'm moving things around. Smart mode doesn't matter for this object. This object doesn't have kit ops properties. It automatically removed it. And that way you can immediately start, you know, if you've added something, you can immediately start going in and, you know, finding things and just cutting holes and stuff. So let's uh, turn off our face orientation and see what's going on. So that's really the, uh, uh, one of the, the new advantages. So you no longer have to basically remove kit ops props. So if you recall before, when you added something to a scene with nothing selected, you had to go in and hit this remove kit ops props. So now it does it for you. Now, there are some consequences to that. And let's talk about those for just a quick second. So let's go into, let's say this man and this character, if I hit uh, add insert with nothing selected, you're going to see that it's going to put it insert directly in the middle right here. Because it's not a kit ops insert, if I grab something and start to move it, it's, it's going to move that particular object. And so it's not going to stay connected. So you're going to need to go find the parent for that object and then you can move the object around, right? So then you can just move it around all you want, but you need to make sure you identify the parent for that object. And there's really no way to convert it back into a kit ops object other than removing this and then inserting it with it being attached to something else. That's one of the new update features. And probably the biggest new feature is our new snap modes. First off, we have these new icons. And so what do they do? Let's just go ahead and I'll grab a design magic insert. You can do add any insert, but when I'm adding something, right? If I click over here, this is the snap to face, the keyboard shortcuts F. 
snap to edge, snap to vertex, keyboard shortcut V, edge is of course E, and then none is in. So if I add this insert, it's gonna snap right to the middle and I can roll the mouse wheel to move it up or down, right? So that's the F. Now if I hit the E, it's gonna to snap to the middle of the, an edge. Notice down here we have snap to nearest and snap to center, right? So if I hit C, I'll toggle to nearest. So now I'm gonna be anywhere along this edge. And of course, if I hit C again, I'll, tap, I'll tap, snap to center. Now, one thing I wanna mention is as I'm going through all this, look down here. We have F snap to face, E snap to edge. So we're always gonna have, as you're moving, you're always gonna have all of your shortcut keys listed down here below. So that's something that's nice. And of course, if we hit V for vertex, we're just gonna to snap to any, any of the vertexes. And if we hit N for none, we can put this anywhere we want to, right? So let's just stick it. We'll stick it right right here and now I'll move it down and then I'll turn off my face orientation. You can see what we have here and uh, that looks pretty good. Now, one of the other things that we now have is we have this place on selected insert. So before, if I wanted to actually put, let's say we're going to add another uh, another hole and I want to put that hole directly in the center of this, uh, the cutter, right? I really can't do that. Uh, with a snap mode. So let's show you how you can do that now with the new version. So what I'm gonna do is with this selected, and if you recall, anytime we select an insert and we add another insert, it's always gonna select that other insert to the target of this insert. What am I talking about? If I have this selected and I add an insert over here, you'll see that it always adds it to the target. So it's adding it to this object. So even with this selected, it's gonna add it to the target. So now I wanna add another hole, but I want it to be centered on this particular insert. So how do I do that? Well, really pretty straightforward. I'm gonna basically say place on selected insert, and that is using the shortcut P, and I'll add insert, and I'll drag it on here, and you'll see that we have a selected insert, but what it's doing is it's trying to place it on top of this, which is not what I want. I really wanna go down below, and then I'm gonna say place on selected insert. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll add the insert here, and now we're doing exactly what we want, and if I hit F, it's gonna snap it to the center just like that. Now, that's pretty cool, and I can move that like this, and you're gonna see that there's our object, and it's actually, these are very concentric. I look at the top view, you know, you'll see that it is perfectly concentric. Now, the other thing I might wanna do, though, is I might wanna go up the other direction. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so let's talk about one other feature here with this new snapping system in KitOps, and that is this flip placement. Let me show you an example of how that might work. If our object is selected like this and we hit the add insert button, you'll see that we'll add it to the top, or if we get down below in the view, we can add it to the bottom. But if we use the flip placement, if you look, if you notice, this is the keyboard shortcut I, it'll be right down here. So if I use the flip placement, I hit the I, button, it's gonna flip it to the inside of this object now. And with that set, I can just basically drop it and I can model just like that. So that's good for, you know, in this case, this is a union. I can actually go back in here, maybe grab one of these, select this and say, add insert. And because we have the flip placement, you know, we've, we're, we're able just to come right in here and add this and we get this kind of an object like so. And again, as we talked about previously, you know, we're exactly aligned as we intended. So also, let's not forget that we can also go in here. We can mirror these objects. So I'm going to go over here and delete this one. And with this, I can mirror it about, let's do the X and the Y, but we have to be in smart mode. And once we do that, I can go X and Y, and I can select this one down here and say X and Y. And, you know, you can see what we've got going on. So one of the things that we're doing now with KidOps is we're running a feature upgrade about once every two months. And of course, these are all free. So you're welcome to use the existing versions or just go on to your Blender Market or Gumroad page where you purchase KidOps and just download the free version. And I'll try and make sure that I let you know when we're updating a version so you can get the new one. So that's it for this month's upgrades and we will see you online. Thanks for watching. Bye.